Today's panic. Yellowstone volcano. Scientists, months of doom, predictions revealed. Yellowstone geologist Robert Smith warned that, if a supervolcano erupted, the devastation from the initial impact could last up to a month, a documentary about some of the world's deadliest volcanoes revealed. Scientists have previously revealed that, in the event of an earthquake, it would take less than two weeks before a catastrophic reaction that could potentially wipe out large parts of the U.S. could be triggered. However, even if local residents managed to escape the initial blast, they were still in danger for up to a month afterwards, it emerged. Robert Smith, of the University of Utah, is responsible for the seismometers around Yellowstone National Park. This technology is designed to detect any changes in activity and give anyone nearby valuable time to evacuate. However, Smith warned in the History Channel's 2014 Deadly Volcanoes series that the pyroclastic flows created after the eruption could continue for up to a month. He said, what Yellowstone is going to create is a huge amount of material. This will continue for days, weeks, even months, destroying all surfaces and rocks in its path. The documentary goes on to explain, much of the U.S. will be covered in thick ash capable of collapsing buildings and suffocating people. The power of this gas and ash storm is about to explode. Towering columns of ash will rise up to 25 miles into the atmosphere. This would block sunlight across the planet, temperatures would drop, crops would fail and millions of people would starve to death. Yellowstone's latest eruption produced about 2,500 times more volcanic material than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. This created an eruption column so large that it covered about 60% of the U.S. with a thick layer of ash. If the same thing happened again, the mixture of ash, lava and superheated gases with temperatures exceeding 1000 C could move at speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. They are thought to have spread more than 100 miles from Yellowstone, burying states like Wyoming, Montana, Idaho and Colorado in three feet of dangerous volcanic ash. If the pyroclastic flow fell on anyone, they would probably die within seconds as the air temperature could reach around 300 C.